Hello and welcome to another Doctor's Assistant 1 video and today I'm doing a, another behind the scenes so far of uh, which of the well or which from the well um, part 2 uh, yeah uh, hopefully a decent cliffhanger <laughs> and that like you know these people are a, a cult as it were um, I guess Classic Who Wise, you could say this story is very much just my take on the demons or who the demons. It was just funny because I, I even looked at the back of the uh, like the disc and oh the back of that DVD one and and the synopsis sort of thing and I was like, huh, yeah, the English village in that is called Devil's End, <laughs> and it's like oh okay because I really couldn't think. I even tried to Google. Uh, some English villages, and uh, yeah, that didn't help. <laughs> um, so then I was like, okay, Devil's Point it is. Fuck it. <laughs> on a on a more positive note, hopefully this is the right Sonic Screwdriver. Please do comment below if it isn't. Uh, if anyone's really that inclined to, uh, it's just I finally found it. The I, what I want to say is McGann's. Eighth Doctor E Sonic Screwdriver, so that was cool. I didn't use like Matt Smith's or uh, John Pertwee's or whatever. But probably the only person in the history of ever who gives a shit me <laughs> and, and that. But yeah, getting the last sort of shot and or angle of like that was pretty difficult considering that this was in the way. So then I just yeah had to shove that aside. Um, yeah. What was I going to say? Yeah, I, I don't know if I got a good enough sort of close-up of her hands and that, because they're pretty creepy and witch-esque and that. But yeah, or just like have creepy patterns and that. And I've always thought that this character would be good for like a witch type story or, or like a creepy gothic horror -y type story. As well as the fact that just generally I haven't used Idris uh, as an action figure at all. And that, so yeah. Um... Yeah, and the reason why these two will be really dusty looking is because they've been uh, on a shelf that I very rarely dust, if at all. <laughs> so yeah, that explains that. Uh, but yeah, I really wanted to do this really cool like shot of like his head being a smiler on one side, and then it being like, boom, like full 360 no scope, like just actually like turning and that. But that would have been really great if... Obviously, I had sort of editing software and that, but yeah, gonna try and complain about that not so often, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I I like the cliffhanger myself. I think it's a pretty cool cliffhanger, and that I can't even remember what I actually said for what would be the reveal of the the thingy the. Uh, scribbles and that I just I don't know I I was really torn originally I think I was gonna not have the doctor ever figure it out but then it just it kind of just then felt like oh well that was just a bit pointless me having it there and that because it was just like oh there's this mystery box and and that or this element that's a mystery but the doctor can't figure it out what was even the point, as I say, of it being there in the first place? Granted, they kind of, I think, from what I remember of uh, uh, Satan Pit, Implos Impossible Planet, even, uh, from what I remember of that two-parter, I think they have that kind of happen in that story. Like, you never find out what that text was, I don't think. You know, the, the text that was, like, really anciently written sort of text from, like before time itself or whatever uh thing uh yeah i think she's gonna fall over boop boop <laughs> nah. uh oh no she's dead now uh but yeah i just i don't know i think it's a decent enough uh sort of story i guess or part i hope um if you couldn't tell i didn't plan out any of this this time around uh i mean you could always what would be really great is if someone watched part one and then watched part two and then gave me feedback, if possible, uh, on which part they liked more and if they think that the planning, even if it's just brief planning and very rushed um, manic planning uh, on my end, if if people feel like that's 
working and or makes the story slightly better or a bit more better paced or, or well thought out then you know or if people are just as fine with me winging it more as it were uh would say this part it would be really good as i say if anyone could give me some feedback on that uh you know as to which they thought was better and why and 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 if part one was better or part two uh granted part one of any story is usually fairly easy ish because you are just sort of setting up everything and that uh and that whereas with part two and, and the middle parts it's a bit more difficult you have to add more elements but then you also have to conclude things and carry things over and and that and as i say have a cliffhanger and that and some cliffhangers land some don't uh and that so yeah hopefully the sort of revealed of these people being like a cult works and that and uh yeah don't worry i was very tempted to just be like we are the cult of scaro <laughs> and and that uh even though they're not daleks but yeah yeah i mean part three there's just part three and four to go which is kind of mad uh i feel like i've kind of mm, kind of rush through this story pretty quickly to think that we're already at the halfway point uh it's pretty bonkers considering how long-winded it felt like with man the like was as a as a sort of for that for lack of a better term production wise uh how long-winded that felt like uh it went on for years that one uh but yeah i think i think this one is a bit more easier, a bit more sort of focused. I have a, a, a lot more clearer ideas than that, you know. Uh, and one thing I will say about Man is that the funny thing is, is that story was my idea of like doing Doctor Who does sort of uh, a sort of hot take on toxic masculinity or whatever. And then, um, and then I was just thinking about it before I even filmed part two of 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 the of the story. I was thinking um the funny thing is there's probably more male character or oh, more female characters in that story than there are male characters and yet men are supposed to be the point of focus so that wasn't a conscious thing on my part if anything it should have been a conscious thing to have more male characters than female characters but you know there we are whereas in this one yeah there's only one bad female character and one good female character i guess so but yeah um, yeah, I don't know what else to say really, um, yeah, I am, I don't know why, but very happy that I finally found the 8th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver, it's just a bit of a ball ache to find the Sonic Screwdrivers in where I keep all my, uh, action figure accessories in that, um, but yeah, I think... Yeah, I have I have a few ideas as to where the rest of the story's going and that, uh, and and that. So that should be a okay, I think. Uh, I might map out and or plan part three and or four, like one or the other maybe. So like, the idea is that, like, as I say, like, um, you know, half of this sort of story and or episode will be uh planned out the other half not so planned out maybe uh yeah and 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 you know you could again give me feedback and and that you know think oh well part two and three were better than parts one and four because they were planned out or you know whichever parts i plan out and which ones i don't and i should hopefully that should be at least what i'm telling you in these behind the scenes so far videos um as of this of this story in particular anyway which ones i'm planning out and which ones i'm not so as i say if anyone in the history of ever is remotely interested in, you know giving me feedback uh as to which you prefer or which ones you think uh yeah make for a, a better story or, or more enjoyable watch then uh again please do tell me uh in the comment section below uh but yeah, um, yeah, this is also another historically type episode, at least in my head. I refer to this as a historically one. I don't know if that means that the demons is technically a historical. I don't think many people really class it as that. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, I mean, 
anyway, separate from the demons, this episode in particular is sort of a historical one. Uh, I mean, I mean, it might not be a pure historical, uh, uh, but it it is a as I say, is a historical in so much as it's set in the past. You know, you've had... Uh, I've, I've done the format of the new series, i.e. modern day with Rebirth, uh, episode 1, Rebirth, episode 2, Man, Future, and then episode 3, you know, history and that. So, um, you know, if it's, if it's good enough for the revival, 2005 revival and or new series, I think it's good enough for me. Uh you know, uh, sort of format. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.